Welcome back, folks. We are back in Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks demo, and we are waiting for our engineering project, uh, no, our design project to be done. And it is almost there. There it goes. Congratulations, a brand new Guns on Wheels tank design. The project has been successfully completed. Great. Uh, uh, so make sure to prepare the assembly line for your new tank at the production hall and don't forget to assign the relieved engineers to a new task. Okay, let us proceed to the production hall and learn how to handle the production queue. Let's do that. Uh, we're finally in the production hall. It seems like we're finally everywhere. Uh, right now you have only one final assembly line available you but later you'll be probably expand this hall and reduce different types of lines to enhance the overall production productivity okay first step is to select the queue place for the tank that you want to build as there are no tanks currently being produced let us simply choose the first slot and proceed makes sense to me now it leads need to select the tank model that we need to produce okay I suppose that's that one because it's the only one Note, our commercial team members left us some useful info. Okay, uh, what info is that? Uh, from here you can directly see how many tanks of this model that has been contracted already. Uh, not that many. In fact, zero. And the number of tanks of this type that have currently been produced and are awaiting shipment to the customer. After the model is selected, you can also assess the material production cost. Uh, let's produce a single unit of your tank for marketing purposes. Let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want to skip the tutorial. Uh, I guess we're putting everyone in here, so it'll take five days uh, to complete this tank. Okay, now it's time to start the production. Let's start it. Okay, as we have used some of our resources, it is wise to restock them. We should do this now once we have the budget available. Let us leave the production hall and proceed to the factory ground. Okay, I have gone through this tutorial before, but I think you should see it too. No, as with the other buildings, you can see already from the factory ground view how many days are left until the end of the production batch. All right, uh, weren't we going to the warehouse? I thought we were going to the warehouse. Yeah, I guess we're producing this first. All right, one gun on wheels has been produced uh, no one died during it so that, that, that's a good thing i think the workers appreciated that uh, the newly produced vehicle has been relocated to a warehouse where they are waiting to be dispatched to eager customers but well, we don't have any eager customers right now okay let's take a look uh, the warehouse building combines two critical functions we have spent some resources on the first tank so let us restart some of these materials. First, let us proceed to the material storage and check out the current situation there. Okay, as you can see, each resource has more than one supplier. So, Great Britain, USA, France, and the Russian Empire, or iron. The difference between them is in the delivery speed, which is counted in days. Okay. Uh, safety of the delivery, which defines the percentage of the total order that is guaranteed to be delivered. Okay. And amount of this specific resource for sale. And of course the price. Whenever you choose a supplier, you consider all of these factors when making a decision. Note that the other resources can be purchased in the same manner by switching between different tabs and accessing the list of other suppliers. Okay, let us return to the halls. Well, why, why? Weren't we going to order something? Okay. The second function, which will be available soon enough, is the delivery of your tanks to your customer, which is over here in the tank storage. Unfortunately, we don't have any active contracts for the time being, so we'll have to return here later when the time is right. Okay. I guess we're heading out again. The demand for your tanks will grow very quickly. If you manage to produce good designs and deliver them on time to your customer, you will very quickly need to attract new workers, engineers, and secure the means to control financial flows of your company. Let us now visit the building where you can manage these processes. 
I hope you like your personal cabinet and the outside view. It is brand new, so some things are not yet functional. Okay, so apparently the bank isn't functional and the corporation isn't really functional, which doesn't sound good for our future. Uh, okay, our workers are still struggling to install the telephone cable and the lock system for the safe. Needs some adjustment before it's ready to be used. Okay, that sounds wonderful. The legal office for corporate advancements is also not yet in place. So let us check the situation on the labor market. Let's do that. Uh, your secretary has summarized all information for your convenience. That includes all information about the workers. Okie dokie. And we have those here. Uh, so we have uh, fifth, 40 employed. We can employ 120. Totally salary costs is 6,000. And we can hire 50 more workers. A similar summary relating to your engineers has also been compiled. We have 15. Capacity of 120, salary cost is 3,000, and we have 50 available for hiring. The executive summary relating to your top managers and ministers has also been prepared. Cool. Uh, so you probably noticed that you currently have no administrators. All your buildings are working without the top management. Let us change that. Let us employ your first administrator and sign him to the research department. Sounds good to me. Uh, as you can see, we have currently attracted three very promising candidates. All they, have, they all have different backgrounds and therefore can assist you in different ways. You can access their CV if you check the info folder. Okay. All right, we're studying uh, this guy, Tennyson Bangor. On the left side, you can find a summary of his background. So. This is a, I guess, a historical summary. So, he was born in 68, 1868, that is, at Hadley House, Hertfordshire. After finishing boarding school at Charterhouse, he was employed as a naval architect at Armstrong Whitworth and Company. Uh, as a naval architect, Mr. Dyncourt worked on the design of warships for the Austrian, Italian, Norwegian, Spanish, Spanish, Portuguese, and Turkish navies. In the year 1904, he undertook a major consultancy work on the state of the Turkish navy, which earned him the order of the Mejid, third class. In 1912, he was appointed the director of naval construction with the Royal Navy. Uh, Eustace is a true pioneer of naval engineering who proposed new forms of ship constructions that offered extra protection from vicious, vicious torpedo attacks. Most recently, when the first Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill, asked him to participate in the development of the new weapon of war that was capable of crossing no man's land and suppressing enemy machine guns. As an administrator, Eustace Eustace offers his skills in hull development and his connections earned during the service at Armstrong, Whitworth and Company. Last but not least, uh, Eustace is a very efficient marriage capable of reducing maintenance expenses at no reduction to overall efficiency. Reducing expenses sounds good to me. While on the right you can find the list of his skills that he is ready to offer, please note that his skills will only be applied when he is assigned, he is assigned to the building. So, minus 15% on risk of fire, accident, uh, sabotage, he is very good at hulls, turrets, primary weapons and secondary weapons. That sounds great. Uh, can we hire him? Apparently we can. Uh, yes, uh, we want to do that, and we have him apply, uh, assigned, or hired, and we have assigned him to the research center. So, excellent. Now his skills are put to good use, and the productivity of research departments have received a significant boost in performance. I like it. Okay, next we are going to accounting, I guess. So our accountant did his best to organize various reports in a single document so they can save time while studying it. For your convenience, all income is reported to the left. Okay. So 
tank sales and others. Okay, so we can sell raw materials or what? I don't know. And is divided into the income from tank sales. Okay. And other sources such as resource sale, grants, and bank loans, which we can't do yet. All right, expenses are shown on the right. We have 6,000 maintenance and 12,000 salary. With additional details given for building maintenance and salary for employees. Finally, please note that you can always access the complete annual report if required. Let us now return to the factory grounds. Okay, let's do that. All right. This concludes my brief introduction. I believe you now have all the necessary knowledge to continue the venture that your father started. I will also make sure to offer my assistance whenever the situation will require it. Otherwise, please don't hesitate to reach me whenever you need my advice. Best of luck. The story of Arms Trade Tycoon starts now. Cool. All right. Tutorial done. There are a few things that I think we need to do to begin with. We've already spent like 18,000. Um, let's see, high carbon steel, rubber, medium and iron and glass. And this is our warehouse material storage and we have a tank in storage as well. So I think first things first, let's go to the warehouse and let's order some more materials. I think we want some high carbon steel. It seems like we're pretty low on that. Uh, let's see, 65% for $2. Uh, so let's think about this. So 65% of $1 is 65 cents. So that would be 130 if we say that we roll low and lose 65% uh, or 35% of, of what we're, we, we're being shipped. So that would basically mean that the price is 260. I'd say there are thereabouts. There are thereabouts. Uh, in the Ottoman Empire. Now, for the, the Swedish con uh, company, Gustafsson AB, we get 92% of it at a price of three. So it's uh, one pound, I guess it's pounds, uh, more expensive, but we get 92% of our stuff delivered But I still think this is cheaper. So why don't we just order everything that we can from here? Even though we risk losing almost half of it. So let, let's see, one pound um, would be 50%. Well, then, then it would actually, if we lose 50%, then we'd go up to three pounds. But we only lose 65%. So yeah, this has to be better. Am I, is my math right here? I don't know. Uh, yes, we want to buy that. Uh, I don't think we need to buy anything else right now. We do have a maximum on our materials storage. So we need to be a little bit careful about that. And I wish that Escape didn't do that, but sent us back out here, and then Escape would do that. I think I want some more engineers. Um, how many do we want? Let's go up to... So, so let's see, how, how many can we actually assign to a research project? Can we see that? And what is the research project that we want to assign them to? Uh, I, I think mobility is probably a good thing. This guy? 
So, what is the max? Well, right now it's 15, which would be five days, but is there a max to the number that we can assign to one? Uh, let's try hiring so that we have 50 total, which means that we want to hire 35. Yes. Okay. And let's try the enhanced power output. Okay, so we can only assign 40. And that'll take two days. So it's 500 man hours. So 32 would give us two days. That leaves us with 18 engineers, actually. All right, that's fine. Let's do that. And let's see if we can put our engineers to use on something else. Can we add modifications to this? You could put a rear thingy on rear wheel, and we have the escape hatch. We have the ball thing. We have a chicken wire. So that gives whole top width and less stealth, but more angle. Okay, so we need to look at this. Crew awareness plus one, crew comfort plus one, crew safety plus two. That seems pretty good to me. Trench width goes up. The slope angle goes up. The step height goes up. But the transportability goes down. What does that mean? I guess overall it's plus five minus two. So, plus three for 250 kilos. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, I don't think we're going to design anything new here, but we could design a new turret, maybe? What's a sponsor door? Crew comfort and safety goes up. Warship pedestal mount. Plus four to reliability on the primary weapon. Minus two repairability, but plus three crew aiming. Okay. So we could. How much do those weigh? 125? Since these are on the sides, I guess it would be 250 total? 1960? Plus 125 would be 2085. So, no, that's total. Okay. And. I think that's a really good deal. Uh, I don't think we need this. I don't know. Ah, screw it. Let's put it in. Okay, and apparently this is a male. Uh, Alright, let's just call it that. I'll say one day. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, do we want to produce more tanks right now? Um, can we do... We can do trials with the tank. Let's start trials on that. And let's not produce any just yet. Just, I mean, if it's absolute crap, then why do it? 
Okay, the mail mark one is done. All right. Let's see, is there anything else we want to do here? The primary weapon. Shoulder rest, uh, plus two hard accuracy. Liability goes down, but aiming goes up. I guess that's the same. Okay, so it adds 25 kilos. But we get that thing. So let's just start that. Takes a day as well. Sure. This button needs to go somewhere else. It needs to be up here or up here or somewhere in a in a corner. It cannot be more or less in the middle of the screen because go out, I'll hit escape every time. It needs to be clear that this is how to exit. Okay. Um, one more day for the research to be done. Guns and Wheels trial is two days out and our engineering is one day out. And our uh, high carbon steel is 11 days out, was it? Alright, so the quarter pounder gun is done and we completed that research. So let's go into research and see what we want to do. I think I'll do the exhaust management. And I guess it's 32 again. Yeah. Uh, is there a point? to make all of these engineering projects before we have done a bunch of research and when are the first contracts coming in and what's this oh well map okay so okay so these are the nations so Argentina, Brazil, US, Canada, uh, Great Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, uh, the Kaiserreich, Sweden, uh, Austria, Hungary, I guess. Um, not entirely sure. Yugoslavia, maybe. No. Yugoslavia didn't exist at that time. Uh, Greece, Turkey, Russia. Maybe this is Romania, I don't know. Uh, China? Japan? Australia? No, nothing in Africa. Okay, but we can't click any of the others because they aren't in the game yet. So we can go here and take a look. Hey. And the British Empire is a lucrative customer. That's good. Because that's apparently the only one that we can sell to. We call tanks are us. We have no reputation whatsoever. I don't know what that means. Uh, all right. I, I'm not going to go through all this. Uh, tank cores. Uh, undecided. No tank concepts. No regiments. Anti-tank core, contracts, tier one contracts, there are no contracts, and task tank trophies and holdings are not in the game yet, I guess. Okay. Well, we're researching this. What I think I'm gonna do. Well, we just paid our engineers, right? Because traditionally you're paid at the end of the month. So we've just started a new month, so Let's take a look at power unit. So, agility, or ability, depending on where you're from, I guess. 
soft accuracy, hard accuracy, and reliability goes down. Ability goes up. Ability goes up. Parability goes down. I think we'll try this. Uh, enlarge cylinders. Plus two to obstacle slope. And step height. Minus two to range. Alright. Let's try that. Uh, minus one to crew awareness, crew comfort, but plus four to safety. Road speed plus one, cross country speed plus one, crew awareness minus one. I think I like that one better. Uh, twin spark plugs, I guess that's the only one that we can do. Agility up, reliability up, crew safety down. Okay, fine. Uh, so how long would this take? Three, three days. Uh, do we have a tech that we can apply? No. Alright, let's start on this. Three days. Let's see what that's all about. And that's done in two days. The design thing is done in one. Alright. Guns and Wheels trials complete. Uh, okay, some problems still do exist. This can affect battle performance. Sign iterations are still due. Okay. Alright. Alright, research complete. So, exhaust management is done. And what can we research now? Uh, part size reduction. Okay. What about the running gear? Improved track pins. Whip it running gear. I have no idea what these things are. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? Uh, so power unit, running gear, we have the structure, we have the hull and the turrets, and we have firepower. Okay. Rivet slip spots, female mark one, Dawson mount, shell ejector, through leather helmet. Okay. So uh, a nice, uh, Creepy helmet to go with their face masks. And... You know what? I think we're going to go with this. Three days. I think three days is probably fine, isn't it? Start. Yes. Let's do it. And... So we have one day to go on the engineering, eight days to go on the delivery. Are we gonna, are, are we gonna build more of these? We can build five. Are we gonna bank on being able to sell these? I don't know. Let's let's do two. One is five days. Two is nine days. So we get a little discount on the man days there. It'll cost some material, but we have material on the way. So let's start doing that. Okay. Alright, I'm enjoying this so far. I mean, I like making tanks. And, uh, I'm just looking forward to see... Where, when are we going to get a contract, I wonder? I have no freaking clue. I have no clue. But I guess we'll find out together. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.